Today we're going to work a little bit more with the spreadsheet that Will created last time um, with bills and income and your net total down at the bottom, final income. And what we're going to do is we're going to show how we can take all of this data uh, by month and put it into a summary tab. What I've done here is I've named this bills and income itemized by month. I've created a tab over here that's showing you summary by quarter. So we have first quarter, second quarter, third, fourth, and of course a year to date. I simply copied the items in the bills and in the income and then I've labeled this net income because this total is going to be our income minus our bills. So how do we get these totals in here to be summaries? So the first thing I want to do is I want to take this out of here so we can start fresh. All right, so we're going to come in here first quarter and we're going to hit equal sum and then we're going to kind of move this out of the way, click back into this other tab and we're going to go January, February, and March and we're going to click the check mark. You'll notice you have that in here. We'll come into the second quarter equal sum and again kind of move it out of the way go into over here April May June at that point we're just going to highlight those command C click down below highlight the remainder of the range command V now we have all of these now you notice these right here are black and they have zero that's because over on this spreadsheet there's nothing in there okay you can leave them like that and then when you fill that in they will propagate with the proper numbers. Our totals, if you look here, you'll see this is the summary of B2 through B21, which is exactly what we want. Each one of those will be relevant to the specific column in rows. That's how you would do a summary for the first quarter, second, third, and fourth quarters. Now, as you go along through the year, the year-to-date total obviously is going to reflect the sum of whatever you have in here. If you only have through the second quarter, it's going to be your year-to-date midpoint. And then after the third quarter, it's going to be year-to-date through the third quarter. So down here in the income section, let's do the same thing. We'll get rid of these so we can see how this works right from the very beginning. And again, you're, you're going to click on the one cell, equal sum, move it out of the way, go back, go to our income, January, February, March, and there you go. Now you can use this yellow button here and drag it down and it's going to give you the relative numbers B three through D three. If you come back over here, just to verify, you're going to see B three through D three. So that's going to give you the real, that's an, another way to do it. I just wanted to make sure that we went through the equal sum process. So you get the idea of how to do this. And you can do all the shortcuts once you get the basics down, then you can use the shortcuts. So now you have your bills, your income, and down here, 
This will reflect, you'll notice if you click on your net income here for the first quarter, you're going to see it's going to be your, it's going to, this plus that is going to give you the 4,000. It's actually, because this is a negative number, all right, um, it's subtracting it, which is what we want. Now, over here on the first tab, these are, because they're a rather large spreadsheet, that's why they're top to bottom. Over here, summary by quarter tab, you could take these just by clicking on it and this sheet will highlight because these are separate sheets and you can move them so that they're so you get a quick page view and you can line them up so that they so you would get a quick page view of your bills income and your net what I'm titling your net income which essentially is your income minus your bills. All right, I hope this was helpful, and uh, we'll see you again next time.